Hello, and welcome to Watch Me Eat Breakfasts, a uh, new show about watching me eat, uh, particularly selected uh, parts of this complete breakfast or what the fuck ever. I'm your host, me. First show, it's probably obvious. Anyway, I got some uh, good Honey Nut Cheerios, yay. Because uh, normal ass Cheerios are fucking gross, uh, they have no cow with the whatever speaking of which what the this fucking guy got some uninteresting history don't bother as well as this whole thing history of cereals not that good here's what we got I put it in a bowl I splattered some milk on there it uh, smells like a fucking horse barn ever since they switched it from actual almond powder to fucking almond flavor it smells weird now anyway it's got honey and um, almond is the nut though you gotta get that you know almond I ah, hope everybody's having a delightful end of the summer Whew. boy is it warm mm. I figured I'd have to start this new show with this obvious cereal because not only is it a part of this complete breakfast that they don't even bother putting a picture of on the box or mentioning in the commercials anymore which used to be the fucking best part of the whole experience was the idea that somewhere somebody was getting a fucking bowl of Cheerios in the middle of you know the bacon and the egg and they got like fucking orange got an entire box of milk like two sausages they got the McMuffin over here they got the gravy and then they got a bowl of Cheerios oh and a, probably usually a bowl of oatmeal right next to it advertising is all lies there never was a complete breakfast which is why I've come here to solve that one piece at a time, we're gonna make a complete breakfast. Nah, I don't fucking care. What am I talking about, even? Complete breakfast? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? I'll tell you what that means. It means in the commercial, they have to tell you that it's part of a complete breakfast because that bowl of cereal has almost no, no, no nutritional value outside of the artificial vitamins that have been added. So in order to get a nutritionally sound breakfast, you need to eat the bowl of fucking sugar as well as a half of a pig and a couple of eggs you gotta hit up some oranges you have to eat at least four oranges every day for ideal health then again this is the time where they said eat fucking vegetable oil instead of butter and they said stop eating salt because it'll murder you oh, oh what a mysterious time to have to try to navigate this shit um i don't know if you know but actual normal ash cheerios the boring kind that have no flavor were um Invented in a trench in World War II. I don't know. And then, um, cinnamon nut Cheerios in the 60s. And then honey nut Cheerios in the 70s. And we don't know what happened in the 80s. Oh, actually, no, I don't. What happened? Apple ones? Oh, you're right. How can I forget? Chocolate Cheerios. Duh. Why the fuck would you buy them though? That's just gross. Anyway, I usually only would do this at night. I don't put chocolate in that part of the breakfast. I mean, this is just a little. Honestly, I got a little crazy. I got a little. It got a little out of hand there for a second. I was getting excited about all the bad. You don't need to print chocolate directly on the fucking cereal. I can actually add my own. Look at this. They put it in a bottle for some reason. It's just. Ugh. But you know what I mean? It works. It's like, it takes me back to some, it takes me back to some Saturday. I don't know what Saturday we had this, because that syrup didn't exist, that's for sure. Nor did the chocolate milk suit. I think the bee was still hand animated then, too. Oh, that's fucking, that's much better. I love oats. It's my legacy to love oats. The Cheerios just beat the hell out of them. In the legacy of cereal being the ultimate Puritan denial food, the actual original is woo -hoo -hoo, very basic. I kind of think it would be very easy to ration. You don't want to add too much chocolate though. And you never want to add chocolate during the daytime. 
It doesn't help with the morning. I feel like I fucked this up a little bit. I want you to pretend that I just put the Cheerios in a chocolate milk. It has basically the same effect. It's not like they're absorbing the chocolate unless you dunk it right on them. I'd much rather accept having chocolate milk Cheerios than just putting chocolate on top of them. And I definitely don't want the chocolate sitting on a box for a month. What? Stop! No! It's the same reason it was stupid to put cinnamon on Cheerios in the 60s or whatever. Because clearly everybody had cinnamon sitting right next to the box there in a cabinet. Look, there's cinnamon. Cinnamon! It was everywhere in the 60s. Just fuck off for a second. Trust me on this one. I generally like cereal because it's probably one of the easiest things to clean up. This is my probably my cooking specialty here. Making a, a bowl of cereal. <sighs> I'm try look, if you ask me to make you a cereal, I'm not gonna dunk the chocolate in there. You don't have to worry. But damn, is it much better that way. Mm. And I'll be again, again, the chocolate is only necessary since they took out the actual fucking almond dust. The goddamn thing should, I don't know why you gotta ruin every single food from the fucking 80s and 90s. I don't know why you gotta take every single little fucking thing and cut every little fucking corner on every little bit of onion powder and fucking almond dust and to save more and more money, take out all the fucking sugar and replace it with fucking corn. I don't know why you gotta ruin every single little food. Bring it back with fucking aspartame in it. Bring it back with Splenda. Let's throw some fucking stevia in there. I think you probably fucking know what I'm trying to get at. The point is I'm sick of it. Stop bringing back the old fucking foods with the wrong fucking ingredients. I don't know, I'm kind of a purist about that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I get that a lot of it has a bad origin because of when it was made and the way that the ingredients came from and all the backstory of the... Blah, 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 blah. That doesn't mean we need to double ruin it. It's not that I want to eat fucking hoops. I don't need any O's in my life. We've been through this. Look, I might have got a little carried away. I'm just saying. Just... Shit, you saw my fucking Popeye, didn't you? My apologies. What? It's Saturday morning as fuck around here. What am I supposed to do? Anyway, I would have went over the, the history of General Mills and Cheerios getting made in Buffalo, New York, and all this magical era of marketing. But uh, to be perfectly honest, it's now been longer since the magical era of marketing than the era existed. And it, there's no clear remnant left. Nobody cares. Look, I'm grateful just to have something like the original, even if it's a little off. I won't say the same thing about Muppets. <sighs> anyway. Anyway, thank, um, good morning, everybody. Thank you for watching me eat breakfast. This is our first breakfast, so go out and crush that fucking day or whatever. Get motivated as fucking hell. That's why you don't put the chocolate in there. I tell you what, he sure as fuck didn't need to be gluten free before. The trace amount of wheat gave it some character. Mm. I can't stop eating the goddamn things. Decades. Thank you for watching me eat a, a part of this complete breakfast. I mean, was oatmeal was too hard, so they ground it up and made it into circles. Why is everybody going to make everything into circles, man? I genuinely appreciate you joining me. <coughs> Hopefully next time I'll eat something more substantial and not lose myself in the dumping chocolate part of it, you know. <sighs> ah, whew. Can't wait for this heat wave to be over with. Happy summer, everybody. Good morning, and we'll see you next time. Mm.